Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the subject of today's video. Actually it is a barn find. It is a spray gun or spray paint gun from the 1960s made in Austria. Wien means Vienna. And believe it or not I tried it and it still works perfectly fine but as you already see it looks pretty dirty and beaten up so the former owner did not care too much about it and I will take this as an opportunity to test uh, electrolysis cleaning on aluminium which I never did before so follow me along trying this uh, experiment and maybe we can bring back the shine of this old timer here. Joe? I think I will not fully disassemble the whole thing because I might be never able to put it back together. So what do we need for the process? Obviously a container with water, just ordinary tap water. Uh, we need a positive electrode and I will go for a piece of aluminium because um, the spray gun is aluminium and I don't want to get uh, funny chemical reactions because I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, so the positive electrode here and to make the water a bit more conductive I will put in some citric acid uh, just as much as is necessary, not too much. Again, I don't want to have uh, some funny reactions here. And here is my DC power source. It's an inverter uh, stick welder. And I will go for the minimum here. What is it? 3 amps and crank the uh, current up if needed. So uh, let me set this all up and uh, I will come back. So here is my positive electrode here, piece of aluminium and I will connect electrically connect all these parts with um, silver coated wire. Here are all my parts submerged and I did not put some citric acid into the water for the moment. I want to uh, try it without any electrolyte. So I hooked up here my positive wire to the, this electrode here and I hooked my negative wire here to the spray gun. And Let's turn it on. We can already see <coughs> something going on here. Bubbles are forming on all the parts. And I would say I will leave it for an hour or so and come back. Okay, so we are five minutes into the test and I changed my mind a bit and I want to add a little bit of citric acid to increase the speed here a little bit. 
I'm measuring the current here. Um, yeah, shy of half an amp on 50 volts. Joke. So 25 watts of power. Hey Joe, well, let's go for a coffee break and come back later. Yeah, it's one hour later, so let's see what is going on here. There is already some dirt coming off of all the parts here. Letting the pixies do the cleaning work. That's nice. I noticed that some parts of the thing um, produce more bubbles than other parts. I don't know why. But hey, I think I will leave it overnight. Yum! Ooh, it is the next day and uh, there is a, quite a violent reaction going on here. So I think I will um, take the thing out and brush it off and let's have a look. So it is definitely much cleaner than before. It has definitely done something. Okay, I go to the sink and I will brush it off and let's take a look at it. So here we are. And after brushing off all the remains and the gunk from the electrolysis process, I have to say I'm quite impressed with the result. So uh, even the, what is it? Is it aluminium? I don't know. Even the uh, parts which are made out of uh, brass or steel are shiny and new. Yep. I think this one is uh, stainless steel here and it was definitely worth the effort so if you consider doing this on aluminium it works as you see here and now let's have a look to the uh, sacrificial anode here Oh yeah, there's your dirt. <laughs> okay, so guys, as you see, electrolysis, uh, cleaning, aluminium. I never did this before, but you see, it works. And <laughs> that's it for this one. Please, if you want, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment or become a Patreon and uh, let's say thanks for watching and see you next time.